League of Legends, the game that's taken the world by storm. With the Games World Championship Finals only just concluding in Seoul, South Korea, many people are still asking themselves, why do people watch other people play video games? It's simple, the same reasons anybody watches any kind of sport. The camaraderie, feeling like you're part of something, the admiration of the level of skill that the professional players have. League of Legends isn't just a game that people play in their spare time, it's a spectator sport that's exploded over the past couple of years. It's like a strange combination of chess and football, team play based but mentally exerting instead of physically. It's broadcast to its viewers just like football. Plus they have got this Tristana, so Janna plus Oriana Shield. They have analysis oh, desks. This is gonna crazy strong five. This is such a not mentioned before. Commentary throughout the game. Nice. In the mid lane, level five to not. That's right, the ignite's still there. Flash is down just used from And even post game interviews. Next year, how do you keep being the best team in the world? But League of Legends isn't the only competitive game to ever exist, so why is it the most successful? The secret lies in its lack of apparent complexity. Just like football, anyone can attempt to play football. All it requires is a ball and two sticks in the ground. But it also has an incredibly large competitive scene, consisting of players that manage things that the average player can't. Off his line. Yo! And he scored! Can you believe it? What a way to it's this combination of easy to get into, hard to master, that allows for a huge competitive scene. There are a number of other competitive video games that have been around for years, but they don't quite have what it takes to break out into the huge competitive scene. Fighting games such as Tekken and Street Fighter have always had a very underground competitive scene, existing for the diehard fans, but not for many others. This is solely down to the games having a very high skill requirement to even understand visually, let alone participate. StarCraft 2, Blizzard Entertainment's latest venture into esports, was originally successful as a competitive video game, but the scene quickly died out. In the words of one former StarCraft 2 professional player, this was down to Blizzard's reluctance to reach out to the casual gamer to bolster interest and support. Riot Games nailed the spectator sports formula with its creation of League of Legends. Similarly to football again, it's a game that anybody can pick up and play. Anybody can play and admire the game, but there are only a small portion of people who have the skills and dedication to play professionally. It's easy to learn, hard to master, but most importantly, easy to watch. With members of the League of Legends professional scene recently being allowed work visas, and similar competitive games being covered on mainstream sports channels like ESPN, some would say that this marks the beginning of a time where competitive video games are being widely accepted as a profession and not just an extensive hobby.